hello. It says I'm live, but you never know. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see here. So we have Dodger, and then my best friend, Timmy Tomato, Honey Bunny, Leanne, Naraj. Um, no, it's not going to be. There's going to be jumping today. So, but you can always modify. So know that you can still do the workout. You'll just take the jumps out and everything. So you'll, you'll be good to go. Yay. Hello, Mary. Can you guys hear me and everything? See and hear me? Okay. Thank you, Leanne. That means we can get started even sooner. Okay, guys. So today is going to be a full body workout. We're going to be using dumbbells for some of the movements. Yes, you can modify and you can take the jumping out and still get a great workout in. I'll show you the modifications and everything. Kelly, I'm so happy you could make it. That's awesome. All right. This is great. So every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, I'll tell you exactly what the next movement is. And uh, that's it. We're going to get warmed up. I hope you guys are ready. I'm jazzed. Did the nervy shaky shakies before it as tradition. <laughs> so go ahead, bounce it out. If you can't bounce it out because you're in an apartment, you can go ahead and just march it out. That's totally cool. And going barefoot will probably help as well because it won't be as loud for you. And go ahead, add some circles, big rotations, keeping the core nice and strong. Three, two, one, and bring it back. Big circles, hello, shoulders. Hello, cat. Oh my God. Three, two, one, and feet out wide, arms out. We're gonna reach across that body, then open up that chest and squeeze that back. So we're really warming up everything here. You'll feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings as well. Keep it going, guys. Reach, you don't need to touch your toes if that's too much of a struggle because you don't quite have the flexibility yet. That's totally okay. Let's go one more each side. Whee! Last one. And butt kickers. So again, this is another one. You can just kick that booty if you don't want to jump it out. Nice job, guys. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun today. <laughs> Three, two, one. And let's go ahead, we're gonna stabilize on that right foot. You're gonna bring it back in a back lunge. Then from here, bring your knee out and around. So sink down, knee out and around. So we're warming up that stabilizing leg. And we're also getting a nice mobility movement for that left side. Sink all the way down. Think about placing your weight midfoot to heel on that front foot. Let's go one more. And other side. Getting a little bit of stability going. Keep it going, guys. All the way around. And one side might not be as flexible, and that's totally okay. Let's go two more. Last one. And jumping jacks. So if you can't jump, you can always just tap it out. Still bring those arms out wide. Whee. Keep it going. Heart rate is starting to come up, mainly because I'm nervous. <laughs> Three, two, one, and we're gonna go ahead and walk it forward, so inchworm, inchworm it out. From here, you're gonna do some shoulder taps. So, tap the opposite side shoulder. Try to keep your hips as straight as you can. So we're trying not to shift too much side to side. Keep that core strong. Make sure that lower back isn't dipping. Let's go for four, three, two, one. And stabilize. We're going to press back into down dog, and then bicycle out the feet. So getting those calves, those shoulders, really think about pushing those hips up to the ceiling. Nice job, guys. Three, two, one. And shift it forward. Coming down to the knees, we're going to have our palms and fingertips facing out, and we're gonna go side to side. So this is warming up those wrists because we will be doing a bear crawl today and plank movements. So I wanna make sure that your wrists are ready for that. The closer your hands are together, the more of a stretch, but the, also the more intense it's gonna be. And go ahead, 
sit back. We're gonna bring our elbows and wrists together and get some circles going. All the way around. And then other way. Gotta get the other way. Gotta get that. Three, two, one. From here, we're gonna take that right foot and we're gonna bring it forward and then out in different directions. So again, really getting those hips nice and open. You can go across the body. If you need to use a mat for your knees, you can do that. Or you might be on carpet. And let's go ahead, we're gonna switch sides. See, not too bad, right? This isn't bad at all. <laughs> Just wait for it. You're welcome. <laughs> and let's go ahead, coming back into a plank position, getting that heart rate back up. Let's go with some mountain climbers. Drive the knees in. Don't have your butt up too high. Keep it going. Getting those shoulders. Three, two, one, and bring it up. Shaky, shaky. Almost ready, guys. We're gonna go ahead and go with some skaters. Remember, if you don't wanna jump it out, you can step and keep going. If you wanna touch the ground to make it more challenging, hovering that back foot, I dare you. <laughs> Almost there, let's go four more. Three, two, one, one more. So, toes are facing out, keep your chest up. We're gonna sink back, then come up to the tippy toes. So make sure you're not shooting the knees forward. Push your butt back, sink down, and come up. Gain the inner and outer thighs, quads, calves. Nice flat back. Let's go three more. Last two. Last one. Shaky, shaky. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna make sure everything is still okay. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Siva, Kumar, Farida, Princess, Maggie, Amanda. Awesome. Ooh, protein pancakes. Sign me up. Sign me up right now. <laughs> All right, guys, get ready. We're going to start out with a body weight movement. So, 15 seconds. Now, we're going to jump to the side and then go with the switch lunge. Jump to the side, switch lunge. If you can't jump, you're going to step and bring it back. All right, three, two, let's go. Lateral hop and bring it over. Really getting those legs to start out with. If you can't sink down all the way for the lunge, no big deal. Remember to modify if you need to. Keep it up, guys. We have a real fun movement after this. <laughs> Not saying this isn't fun. Keep it up, guys. Sink down. 10 seconds. Hello, leg burn. Three, two, one. Okay, so this one, pay attention. <laughs> Feet out wide. Take your right hand down to the ground. Your right foot is going to kick through, and then you're gonna bring it back up, and then switch. Okay, so left hand down to the ground, kick, bring it up, and switch. Keep that core strong up and switch. This one takes a bit to get down, so really take your time getting to learn the movement. Sorry if you hear the dog. Keep going guys, 20 seconds and kick. If you're struggling, make sure you're opening up the other foot, the other knee, and bring it up. Whew. Finish it out. Nice job, guys. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna grab our weights and do a curl and Y curl. All biceps, go ahead and have your palms facing forward. Curl, bring it down, bring it out, wide curl. All right, let's go. Curl, bring it down, out, and wide curl. Again, nice, strong core. Keep it going. 30 seconds. 
Nice job, guys. Squeeze. Whew. Oh my goodness. Make sure you control that weight on the way down and the way up. We're almost there. Whew. 10 seconds. I might have to get the door because someone is knocking at the front door and someone is sleeping so they're not getting it. And go ahead, come down. So next up, we have 10 ankle taps and then an inchworm. So 10 ankle taps, you can always again walk it out and then inchworm, walk it forward and back. Whew. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, 10. Bring it forward, bring it back and up. You guys keep that up. Really drive those knees up, all the way forward, all the way back. Three, four, six, seven, nine, ten. Finish it out. Nice job, guys. Three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. All the way forward, all the way back. Almost there. All the way forward and all the way back. Okay, so next up, we have alternating raises. I'm gonna show you this and I'm gonna get the door. So bring it up, down, switch. You really gotta squeeze your core. So you guys are gonna keep going. So sorry, you go for it. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, 30 seconds left. Keep going. All the way up. After today, I'm probably gonna have a new place to work out so we won't have so many distractions or anything like that. 10 seconds. Almost there, guys. Those. The side of their shoulder should really be burning. Three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna grab onto one weight now. Keep your core strong, you're gonna hinge from the hips. You have a single leg deadlift, come up, and then single leg squat. Okay, so stay on the same leg, take your time with it. Single leg deadlift, hinging from the hips, bending the stabilizing leg slightly, sink down, single leg squat. Again, keeping that core strong. Nice job. So the first movement, we're really getting those hamstrings and glutes. Second movement, really getting those quads. Stabilizing, baby. <laughs> All the way up, sink down. 10 seconds. Almost there, guys. Five, four, three, two, and done. So before we go to the other side, we're gonna burn out that right leg. You're gonna have that chest facing forward. You're gonna stabilize on that right leg again. Bring your left leg back, curtsy, front kick. That's it. Try to have your weight with you, but if you can't, that's okay. So curtsy and front kick. Same leg, keep going guys, and up. Glutes. Hello, glutes. Hello, cat. <laughs> and up. And up. Nice job. Keeping that chest up. And up. And up. We got 12 seconds left. Woo! <laughs> if you goof like I did, just shake it out. No big deal. And up. Four. Three, two, and we're gonna switch sides. So, single leg deadlift, and we have that single leg squat again. So if you can't do the single leg squat, go ahead and stick with a back lunge instead, just like we did in the warm up. Okay, core strong, hinge from the hips, bring it forward, up, and sink down. All the way, all the way back. Nice job, guys. 30 seconds and sink down. Oh my 
goodness. <laughs> One side might be more tricky. That's okay. Don't worry, we're gonna get to cardio soon. Very soon. Whoop, goofed. Shaky, shaky. Bring it back. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so back to that curtsy front kick. Remember, have your chest facing forward on this one. Oh my goodness. I'm, good. I'm, I'm excited for this left leg to burn. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bring it over. Sink down and front kick. And back. Enjoy this moment of strength because the chaos shall return soon. <laughs> and kick. 30 seconds. And kick. Core strong. Oh my goodness. And kick. We're almost there, guys. Last 15. And up. Sink it. And kick. We got five seconds left. Remember to go heavy in the weights that you use. As long as you can keep perfect form. Okay. So next up, we're going to do high knees forward with a bear crawl back. So that's where the bear crawl comes in. So high knees forward, come down, bear crawl back. If you can't do high knees because the impact, high knee marches forward, bear crawl back. Let's go. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Whoops. All the way down. Keeping the knees as close to the ground as you can. All the way. Back as flat as possible. Try not to have the hips up. Keep rocking it, guys. All the way. Oh my goodness. Okay. So next up, we're gonna do a side step free throw. I'm gonna grab my 10 pound. From here, act like there's a bar here. You're gonna swoop under, jump up, act like it's a free throw, okay? So swoop under, bring it up. All the way under. Don't actually throw the dumbbell. <laughs> you can go without. You can also come to the tippy toes, swoop under, tippy toes. Keep wrapping it, guys. 20 seconds. Finish it out. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to drop my weight. From here, we're going to alternate. So you're going to go with the side lunge, push your butt back, come up, stabilize, one leg push up, and then switch sides. If you can't do that, you're going to sink down, then just do an inchworm and try for that push up either on your knees or your toes. All the way, sink down, come up, forward, keep going guys, 20 seconds, sink down, bring it up, oh my goodness, core is strong, and up, this one's fun, <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we're gonna come into a plank. We're gonna do a plank to twist to three-legged dog. So plank, twist, press back, just like in a down dog, except you're bringing your leg up, and then we're gonna switch. Whew, okay, so core is really gonna feel it. Shoulders, make sure you really press into that ground, pushing your hips up. Keep it going, guys. We are over halfway. 
twist and up with our workout. <laughs> Keep it going. Twist and up. 10 seconds. Oh goodness. Four, three, two, and done. Okay. <sighs> All right, so next up, ooh, yay, mat time. If you can't do this movement, you're gonna do squat pulses. But if you can, you're gonna roll, come up, squat pulse, come down, pulse. Make sure to have your back nice and flat, chest up. You can always stick with roll back and reach through if you still wanna roll. <laughs> That's okay. Rolling's fun. All the way up. Keep up, guys. Roll, come up. 15 seconds. Oh my goodness. Last 10. Oh yeah, my quads are feeling it. <laughs> Just a lot of it. Three, two, and done. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll this down. Burpee to snap kick. So if you can't do the snap kick, you're gonna stick with just a front kick. So you have a burpee, come up. Left knee comes up, kick with the right leg. Let's go. Try to alternate. If you can't, just stick with the same leg. <laughs> That's okay. Kick. Keep it going, guys. Kick. This is where you get to see sweat flying off your body. Nice job. And kick. Almost there. Kick. Oh. You're gonna go to a strength move. Three, two, and done. Okay. Narrow to wide rows. I'm gonna grab my 15s. Back is flat, feet close together, hinge on the hips, narrow, palms facing down, wide. Neck is neutral. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Look a little bit ahead of you. And again, keep your core strong. So if your lower back starts to jump into it, I want you to reset. Squeeze your core, hinge, sink down. Make sure you're engaging that core the whole time. Oh goodness. Almost there guys, 12 seconds. Finish it out. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. So coming back into a plank position, Half burpee to side plank kick out. Start into a plank, jump up, jump back, turn, kick the bottom leg out. Okay? If you can't do that, you can always step, step, and turn. You can take the kick out out, <laughs> out, out, if you want to. Up, back. Core is strong. Up, back, and kick. Again, using that core to bring your feet up. Whew. All the way up, all the way back, and kick. Keep going, guys. 10 seconds. Uh, almost there. Four, three, two, done. Okay. Hi. Jumping jack. Press out. So if you have like little, little dumbbells, this would be a really good one, but you're gonna jump your feet out and punch. Remember, you can always step and step. Okay, let's go. Really jump those feet out wide. Keep it going. Core is strong. Nice job, guys. Oh, goodness. We 
You got 20 seconds. Finish it out. Last 15. Done. Okay, so grab your mats, grab a dumbbell to bring with you. This one's just more comfy. So I'm gonna bring this 10 with me. I'm gonna place it not on the knee, but right above it. Here, squeeze your butt. Okay, so now this move, you can make easy or effective. Make it effective by really squeezing at the top because it's very mindful. Exhale up, inhale down. Ooh, we're almost there, guys. We're not gonna switch legs though, so make sure you don't go right to the other leg. That booty should be burning. Oh my gosh, yeah it is. <laughs> that top booty. Up, finish it out. That dumbbell is sliding up. Okay, so now we're, again, we're not going to switch sides yet. What you're going to do is you're going to take that top leg, bring your knee in front, touch the ground if you can, and then kick back with intention, again, squeezing that butt when you kick back. So I'm going to have my timer here. We're so close, guys. <laughs> so we have this move, you got the other side, and a couple of ab moves, and then you will have crush our Friday workout. Good news is I finished writing our new 30 day challenge and I'm going to start filming in a new location, which is actually an old location, <laughs> but super awesome. Uh, get ready for some crazy awesome workouts, guys, besides this one. Kick and squeeze, Ooh, 10 seconds, Whew. Ooh. five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so this side might be a little bit more challenging because we gotta lay on the side that we just destroyed. You know, you know, just on a low. So we're gonna do those straight leg raises again. Try to bring your dumbbell with you. If you can't, that's totally okay. So get ready. Okay, let's go. Squeeze with intention, squeeze at the top, and keep it going. Are you guys shiny? I'm shiny, I'm sparkly. Not just the hair. <laughs> Keep going, squeeze. Oh my goodness. Up and squeeze, yeah. One side, again, might be more challenging either because if you have lack of flexibility or because the other side is burning. Don't give up on me though. I want you to keep on squeezing at the top. We're doing this together. You gotta suffer with me. <laughs> you got five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so kick back one more time. Oh, shaky, 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 shaky. Okay, <laughs> get it all out. Get it all out, cat. Oh. Okay, three, two, one, knee up, kick and squeeze. Make it effective. Sometimes if we have lower back issues, it could be a tightness in the muscle or it could be a weakness. And one, and our lower back is compensating because one of our muscles that's supposed to be working is not because it's too weak. And oftentimes, if you guys have like a sitting job, office job, your glutes are probably a little bit weaker because you have to sit so much. So make sure you take the time to really focus on your glutes and your core. Oh goodness. Five, four, Three, two, and done. Okay, so straight leg bicycles. If you saw my Instagram, ooh, you saw these coming. So you can stick with regular bicycles if that's best for you. But if you can, you're gonna do straight legs, which is more intense. So go at your own pace. Let's go. Make sure you're twisting your torso all the way. Use that breath and take your time. Nice and controlled. 30 seconds, guys. Oh, goodness. Breathe. 
have those head and shoulders off the ground. Keep twisting and turning. <laughs> Glutes get to be shook up after what just happened to them. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, so we're gonna flip it around. Last movement, guys. That went by so fast. <laughs> we're gonna come into a regular plank. Down, down, twist, twist, up, up. Okay, so take out whatever movements you need to. You can also come to the knees for the down, down. Come up and twist, twist, up, up. Let's go. Dip, dip, up, up, down, down. So that's Barkley. We're almost to the stretch. Keep it up, guys. 20 seconds. Oh my goodness. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and done. Done. Oh my goodness. Hey, did I get it this time? Wait. Oh, I did it. Wait. Okay, kind of. It's off. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, this is this is really happening. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna stretch it out. So, come on down. Thanks for sticking with me through this noisy time. We're gonna bring our right leg forward, thrust into it. You're gonna feel some of the back hip flexor on that left side. Pulse and breathe. That happens so much. <laughs> Still can't get that timer down. <laughs> And let's go ahead. If you feel stable enough, we're gonna add a twist over to the right. Breathe. And let's bring it back to center. We're gonna switch legs. Whew. And we're gonna breathe. And then go ahead and twist. Bring it back to center and back. Big toes together, knees out wide, sit back. Walk the hands forward, side to side. Opening up those hips. This should feel really nice. And let's shift it forward, bringing the knees close together, lower ourselves down onto the tummy. And we're gonna bring our hands forward. Elbows are gonna be right under the shoulders. Really think about pressing the elbows in the ground, pulling towards you and pressing the hips in the ground. Open up that chest. You should feel this in the lower back. Nice soft face. And go ahead, slowly lower. Hands by that chest, press up. We're gonna flip it around onto the back and then bring in that right knee and then we're gonna twist over the left with the left hand, right arm goes to the right, and then look over the right shoulder. So because of that glute work we just did, this will feel nice. And then slowly bring it back. Bring that leg out straight, pull. Whew. And let's switch. And then cross it. Left arm to the left, look over that left shoulder. Go ahead, bring it back to center, legs straight and pull. And let's bring it down. Throw both knees in. We're going to rock into a seated position. Let's have our crisscross applesauce here. And we're going to take that left arm. Bring it across the body and pull. Look over that left shoulder. Breathe. And go ahead. Other side. Nice soft face. Shake it out. All right, guys, so we're gonna head into our mini meditation. 
You can have your uh, hands onto your knees or you can lay down or whatever position feels best for you. Go ahead and close your eyes. Big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. All right, so we're going to take this time. This, this day gave me some inspiration. <laughs> so there are a lot of things that we cannot control in our lives, such as the noise that happened during our workouts. Maybe something happened at work the weather, maybe not being able to go out as you want to during this time. But something we can control is how we react, which I'm working on, <laughs> and how we feel inside and how much power we give those things to how our day goes. Did someone cut you off and then just set you off for the rest of the day, even though you were having an amazing day before that. And then it just ruined the rest of your day when really it could have been a moment where you're like, huh, that was not fun, let's move on. So I want you guys to think about maybe an irritation in your life, something, it could be just, again, not being able to go out during this time. Can you control it? And does it serve you to hold on to those negative feelings? Do you need to move on from something that happened in your past so that you can grow in the future? So think about that. And I want you to picture it as a black ball in front of you. Really put all those emotions towards that black ball, those frustrations, that anger, that sadness, that loneliness, whatever it is, all the things you can't control. And I want you to picture that ball exploding, setting on fire, melting, whatever it is, dissipating into the air. Now I want you to think about one happy thing. I want you to picture it as a light ball in front of you. It could be a person smiling. It could be that someone held the door open for you. It could be that your cat exists. <laughs> you have a best friend, whatever it is. Give me tomato. Think of it as that light. And I want you to feel that light go through your chest and go and radiate through your entire body. That is the power that you have and it is illuminating throughout you. And you always have that power to feel happy to move on to things that don't serve you and to take your power back and put it towards any thoughts that you want to. So big inhale, exhale. One more big inhale, exhale. Go ahead, slowly open your eyes, clasp the hands in front, Pull the shoulders in, big inhale up, and exhale, oh, rush, bark, rush, bark, rush, bark. We are done for today, yay! Thank you guys so much for joining me. Sorry I had to leave for a second. Um, I hope you loved this workout. Please do like the video before you go. It really, really helps me out, helps out the video and everything. And then leave a comment. I wanna know what you guys thought. Um, yeah, let me know, let me know. I hope you guys have an amazing Friday though. Like, it's gonna be a really good day. So, <laughs> let's see, let's see how the things. Oh my goodness. Yay. <laughs> Amanda made me hungry. I know me too. <laughs> Mary, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you love it when you get here. Um, Amanda, love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. <gasps> Leia, it's okay. Leia, don't worry about it. You can always rewind. That's the nice part. Technology. <laughs> Jennifer, awesome. I hope you love it. Crystal, oh, I hope you loved the workout. Lori, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you love this. Um, Maggie, I know. Next 30 day challenge. I'm so freaking jazzed. Oh my goodness. Mary, thank you so much. Honey Bunny, thank you. Abby, Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, Maggie. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, super chat. Shaky, shaky. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 
No, but seriously, thank you so much. I really appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much, Maggie. Um, yeah, if you guys ever want to support my channel, there is super chat, and there's also a link down in the description with some purple hearts next to it. Um, thank you. Oh my God, Leanne. Oh, oh, thank you. Super chat, shaky, shaky. What? What? Who's making the noise now? What? <laughs> thank you so much, Leanne. Thank you, thank you. It really, again, thank you guys so much. It really helps out. Um, oh my goodness. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for doing my workout, Timmy. Timmy is my best friend. He does amazing art and he is he does have a Kickstarter right now. Just so you know, he is his fourth book coming out. I am so flipping proud of him. So if you want to check out his art, I highly recommend it. Von Art, V-O-N-N-A-R-T. Look him up. He's amazing. So Stephanie, oh, I'm so glad the noise wasn't like too much or anything. Thank you. Oh, mommy, my mommy's here. Hi, mommy. I love you. I miss you. <laughs> um, can I show us my sweat? Here it is. Here you go. Here it is. See, it's darker here. I know people think I don't sweat, but it just like dries really fast or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kelly. Oh, I'm glad the meditation resonated with you. Like you take that with you. You know, it's always here if you ever want to go through it again. Um, but really take it with you. You can do that anywhere. Remember, if you were ever having like anxiety at work or somewhere that you're at, you can always sneak into the bathroom. Take those deep breaths and really think about that ball of light and ball of darkness and everything like that because you have that power to change things so oh my goodness princess <laughs> that's all right princess i'm so happy you're here uh many hugs to you and your doggy your doggo i love your doggo oh my gosh yeah it's all for the dances what up <laughs> oh my gosh thank you rita thank you thank you stephanie have an amazing day Oh my gosh, Terrence, love your workouts and your meditation. Stay blessed, love you, and have a good day. Have an amazing day, Terrence. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you guys again so much. If you do want to like the video before you go, that would be amazing. It really helps out. Rather than that, we're going to continue on with Friday live workouts. And I hope you guys, again, have an amazing day. Do all the things. And yeah, much love to you guys. Rawr, rawr, rawr.